Is there a limit to how cold something can get? Temperature is basically heat energy. So it does seem that there would be a lower limit to it, which would be when we take out all the energy from that thing. Let's try to find this limit or as they call it, the absolute zero temperature. There's no way we could take out all the energy from something. So we need to rely on some other measure which is correlated to temperature and has a well-defined lower bound. One such measure is volume. As temperature goes up, volume seems to go up. And as it cools, volume goes down. Like when we keep an empty bottle with air inside a refrigerator, it crumples as the air inside now takes less volume. And volume has a lower bound. It cannot be less than zero. Let's take a beaker with volume markings. Also, we need a movable piston which fits perfectly in the beaker. It should completely trap the gas inside the beaker but should move freely up and down as the gas volume changes. It also needs to have a valve to fill some gas. Another crude alternative to this is just to use a syringe. We just need to make sure the piston is well lubricated. We will empty our beaker of air below the piston and fill some helium gas. Let's get a thermometer to check the room temperature. So the gas we pumped in the beaker has a volume of 84 milliliters at 24.83 degrees Celsius. Let's note it down as we try to find the pattern between temperature and volume. We now need to take volume measurements at different temperatures. This is to see a pattern between the temperature and volume of a gas if there is any. To change the temperature of the gas inside the beaker, we'll put the beaker in a large tub and fill it with ice cold water. We'll wait for some time to let the temperature settle down and for the gas to be at the same temperature as the water in the tub. So the volume of the gas reduces to 77 milliliters at 0 degrees Celsius. We will note this down. Let's drain the cold water and fill it up instead with almost boiling water. We will wait a bit to let the temperature equalize. The gas inside expands and the volume is now 105 milliliters at 99.33 degrees Celsius. We'll now let the temperature cool and keep taking measurements at ad hoc intervals, noting down the volume at different temperatures. Now let's plot these values in the graph. The vertical axis is the volume of gas in milliliters and the horizontal axis, the temperature. We see the pattern when we plot these values. They all lie on a straight line. Now if we keep extrapolating the values by extending this line, we observe that the volume becomes zero at around minus 273.15 degrees Celsius. As the volume cannot go below zero, we can speculate that the temperature cannot go below minus 273.15 degrees Celsius. As otherwise, it would cause the volume to become negative. If we repeat the experiment with different gases, the measurements are different, but they still lie on a straight line, indicating that volume is proportional to temperature at a given pressure and they all meet at the same point on the temperature axis when volume becomes zero, which is minus 273.15 degrees Celsius. And this is the value of absolute zero temperature.